Timaeus' Alchemy Store. Uh, oh, did you say my name? Looks like I beat you here. So, did you do your homework, Timaeus? <laughs> Paima wants to hear it. Uh, so sorry. I haven't gotten around to it yet. Timaeus, might I ask how you're progressing? Huh? Traveler and friends. Oh, nice to see you again. Uh, Sucrose has me deciphering an alchemical recipe, but my brain is doing backflips. I, I just don't understand it. So, in other words, no progress? <sighs> no. Oh, now that you mention it, I can't figure it out either. Uh, is alchemy really that mysterious? <laughs> but of course! Alchemy is an ancient and mystical discipline. Yet with the passage of time, those that can be said to have mastered its secrets grow fewer and further between. <gasps> yes! That was my thinking, too. But I believe that Mr. Albedo is still painting on the mountain. And we've got lots of research to do. <sighs> There's no getting around it. If you want my opinion, if Mr. Albedo can't figure out this recipe, nobody in Tavat can. <sighs> Sucrose, what exactly is this recipe anyway? It's a Windbloom recipe I transcribed from an ancient book. Ooh, what if the wind bloom isn't a naturally occurring plant after all, but an alchemical creation? Oh, now that's an interesting take on the wind bloom conundrum. You misunderstand. The book doesn't say anything about it being a recipe for a wind bloom. The book. <sighs> well, actually, it doesn't exactly have the appearance of a book anymore. It's badly damaged and lots of information is missing. Only a few pages of scattered notes from the original volume have survived. That, and a recipe written in some unknown language. The author mentioned in the notes that the recipe was extremely precious. Timaeus and I are completely unable to decipher the content. I know it might seem inconceivable, but... Something about it being extremely precious made me think of windblooms. Huh? But... <laughs> That's an act of imagination. Traveler, if I may be so bold, could you take this recipe to Mr. Albedo? Mr. Albedo should be at the camp at the foot of the mountain. Ah, the mountain. Now there's a romantic location. Windbloom, the flower that alchemy made. Sounds exciting. Paimon needs to know the truth. Let's get going! Albedo, here we come! <sighs> ah, ancient alchemy. <laughs> I've got high hopes. Ancient alchemical methods are very complicated. I hope Mr. Albedo is able to decipher it. And a radish veggie soup. Traveler and Paimon? And who might this be? This is our tone deaf bard! Venti will do just fine, but yes, I am a bard. Greetings. I'm Albedo, the alchemist. The Windbloom Festival is in full swing! People celebrating everywhere! And here you are all by yourself! Well... With the Windbloom Festival in full swing, as you say, why would you be out here looking for me? We're helping Sucrose! Sucrose gave us some paper. She says there's a Windbloom recipe from an ancient text on it! 
Neither she nor Timaeus can understand it, so we came looking for you. A windbloom recipe. I see. This is an ancient language. It's no wonder Sucrose and Timaeus couldn't decipher it. Even so, I don't believe this is a recipe for a windbloom. So what could it be? I could only guess, I'm afraid. In order to reach a conclusion, we'll need to see the real thing. Sadly, my hands are full right now. But I can give you a list of ingredients, if you'd like to go gathering. The situation here seems trickier than I thought. Okay, job done. Great work. Let's have a look, shall we? Hmm. Seems we have everything we need. Not for the alchemical process. This shouldn't take long. There we have it. Huh. Uh... Is this the windbloom that Sucrose was talking about? It, it's just a sweet flower. Have a closer look. Are you sure it's the same as other sweet flowers? you mention it, why is this sweet flower so big? So this is the windbloom created by following this ancient recipe. <laughs> it really does make me think of sucrose. Huh, it does seem like something she would like. Do sweet flowers this size even count as sweet flowers anymore? I can say with certainty that yes, yes they do. Their essence is the same. But sucrose said that she transcribed the recipe from an ancient book. Could it be that there were sweet flowers around even in ancient times? There were indeed sweet flowers in antiquity. This species has a long history. Seriously? Have sweet flowers really existed all that time? Yes. Whoa! Well then... I must head further into the mountain. I still have painting to do. Perhaps you could pass this on? A traveler. Enjoy the celebrations. I keep watch. You leave, you call me. Oh, Sucrose! We've got something for you. Oh, you're back! Timaeus, how's that homework coming along? Did you get the wind bloom? Let me see, let me see! Here's a flower he created, but Albedo said it's just... <sighs> it's just like the wind bloom in my dreams. It's just a sweet flower. No, no, hear me out. This is a perfect specimen from an ancient recipe. I saw it in my dreams. The tetratanic sweet flower. Uh, the, the what now? The seeds of the tetratanic sweet flower are four times bigger than those of ordinary sweet flowers. And the sweet flowers that grow from them are, well, tetratanic sweet flowers. Bigger, stronger, sweeter, and more beautiful. A perfect Tibet species. Oh, and not to mention that the recipe comes from remote antiquity. A perfect, magnificent flower from the far-flung past. Whatever people say, this is my wind bloom. Sucrose is... <sighs> consistently sucrose. I must go and source some nutrients for my wind bloom. Bye for now. <laughs> Who knew alchemy could generate such enthusiasm? Now, Timaeus, your homework? Uh, just finished, sir. Here. Ooh, here we go. Paimon's favorite part. Timaeus, may I recite it? Duh. You're gonna read it out loud? Duh. 
<laughs> Don't be embarrassed. Uh -uh. Here we go. Hand in hand with you before the furnace, the flames fail to rise, for they are burning in my heart. Wow. Sounds so romantic. And you even tailored it to your profession. Great job. Truly, a masterpiece beyond all expectation, Timaeus. You're a natural. Really? Wow, I had no idea that someone like me could write love poems of any merit. It must have been Professor Venti's excellent guidance. Professor, as soon as I'm done here, I'll sort out my tuition fee. Ah, music to my ears. <laughs> now, uh, that's job satisfaction. And I guess that's everyone's homework collected, no? Hmm... Aren't we missing someone? Who could that be? Hmm... Oh! Where did Bennett run off to? Something. Uh, Traveler! Paimon! Mr. Bard! Something terrible's happened! Bennett's gone missing! Missing? You mean he hasn't returned after leaving that day? Uh, yes! What if he's in danger? We have no idea where he is! <sighs> the Thousand Winds Temple. Huh? Rosaria? With you all in the cathedral shouting at the top of your lungs, I could hear everything you were saying. Now, he said something like, I've got it! The Thousand Winds Temple! There's no time to lose! Let's head to the temple and investigate! <laughs> the breeze is making me sleepy. You called? Let's light it up! No, my sword! Teamwork is drift! Let's 
light it up! No, my sword! Boring! See what I mean? Even they're surprised by this crazy cell. Lucky you two got locked on opposite sides. Oh, what a superior design. Presumably an ancient mechanism is involved somehow. There's gotta be a mechanism around here someplace. Quick, go look for it! Mm, stomach. Rumbling. Ah. <sighs> You just take the apple from my bag. You two seem to have adjusted well to life in prison. We can leave you here if you like. No, 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 not funny. I'm begging you, all right? Please, find the mechanism. And open sesame! Ah, <sighs> freedom at last! Very unexpected. <laughs> I wouldn't call it unexpected. This was just a normal day for me. Sorry. Ah, oh, no need to apologize. It wasn't even your fault. So, let's hear the story. Wait, what happened with that letter? Oh, it was just a false alarm. Turns out some fans just wanted to get her attention so they could get a gift to her. What the? That's terrible. What kind of a person does that? I've been locked up here a whole day thanks to them. S sorry Don't be, Razor. Uh, I didn't mean... <sighs> like I said, there's nothing to apologize for. It was my fault for being so hasty in the first place. I rushed off without giving the map a proper look and ended up in the complete wrong location. <sighs> After I left the cathedral, I came straight to the area around the Thousand Winds Temple. But there were monsters everywhere, not to mention ruin guards. You know, those huge things. I guess you've seen them before. But as a first-rate adventurer, I was able to rely on my wits to evade them. Then I got to the temple itself. The moment I arrived here, I heard a monster's roar. Well, Paimon's guessed the ending already. I remember thinking it must be some villainous trap that the perpetrator had set for us. But was Bennett the Adventurer, leader of Benny's adventure team, about to back down? No way! So I charged straight in! Uh, that's when I found him inside. Razor, what were you doing at the Thousand Winds Temple? Wolvendom. Many hunters. Too noisy, so I leave. So, you came all the way to the Thousand Winds Temple, then what? You were trapped by the mechanism? <laughs> Turns out it was no ordinary cell, what with the inner and outer sections. Of course, when I saw that Razor had been trapped inside, I had to rescue him. Then, all of a sudden, there was a huge crash as the other cell door came down. Yep, just as Paimon expected. Anyway, why did you come to the Thousand Winds Temple? Bennett, did you forget about your homework? I'm ready to collect my tuition fee once I've corrected it, of course. Oh, the love poem! Of course I didn't forget! It's not like I had much else to do, being stuck in this cell all day and all night. So at some point, I just started working on it. It's all finished now. Even Razor reviewed it. Oh, yeah? Razor, how did he do? Uh... Don't understand words, but feel... warm, tingly. Like... Wolfhookthorn. Bennett, may I recite your work? Oh, sure. A taste of Bennett's wordsmanship. <laughs> Yay! 
Hey, a round of applause for Bennett! You and the Mayor Javari. So close and yet so far. One at the edge of the world, the other in the center of my heart. Wolfhook and Dandelion, my Windbloom offering to you. Uh, Wolfhook? It, yeah, not bad, right? Uh, it's definitely your style. <laughs> Marvelous work! Unpretentious and honest, sincere and evocative. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. Bennett did good poem. <laughs> Thanks to you too, Razor. Congratulations! Nice job! Still, Wolfhook and Dandelion, can they both be wind blooms? Oh, that was Razor's addition. I asked him, what do you think the wind bloom is? Wolfhook was his answer. Yes, Wolfhook, good. So, even berries count now? A novel take indeed. Ah, I'm so happy. Today was lucky. Getting rescued against the odds, receiving praise for my poem? Brilliant! Sir, as soon as we're back in Mondstadt, I'll buy you some wine. Then it's pretty easy to please. <laughs> That's not quite it. I'm always so unlucky, so I'll take what I can get. Yes, but in future, be careful. Hey, you should talk. <laughs> Everyone, I have an announcement to make. All the poems from the Fast Track class have now been collected. Great! So to celebrate, let's go to the tavern and have a drink. I'm afraid Razor and I have to be going. He said he knows of some relatively unknown areas worth exploring and wants to show them to me. Have a great time, though. Come in, take a seat. We have a... Come the animal a Archon protect you. Welcome. Have a seat wherever you like. Uh, Master D. Luke? Oh, I was about to finish this drink and go looking for you. But you've done the hard part for me. It sure is lively in here. <laughs> it is the Windbloom Festival after all. No one in Mondstadt who has the time and mora is going to miss out on a trip to the tavern. Traveler, will you have a drink? <laughs> no pressure. It's not a requirement. Soaking up the festival atmosphere is the most important thing. Master Jean wanted me to pass along this message. You've been chosen as this year's Windbloom Star. Quite the honor. Windbloom Star? The Windbloom Star is one of Mondstadt's greatest honors. Normally only bestowed upon those who have made enormous sacrifices for Mondstadt or who have truly proven themselves over the Windbloom Festival period. Since arriving in Mondstadt, you have offered invaluable support to its people. This is their way of saying thank you. I know you will receive it gracefully. Oh yes, and another thing. The Windbloom Star must attend the Windbloom Ceremony together with the Acting Grand Master. During the ceremony, you will represent the people of Mondstadt in making a Windbloom offering to the Animo Archon Barbados. But which Windbloom are you talking about? <laughs> a good question. Diluc, care to explain? Passing on messages and deliberating over ceremonial details. Sounds more like your line of work, Kaya. <sighs> no sense of humor. 
Traveler. The wind bloom is always chosen by the wind bloom star. So the flower offered to the animal Archon for this year's celebrations is entirely up to you. Whoa! No pressure, huh? Hey, where's the bartender? How come Master Diluc's mixing the drinks? If it's Charles you're after, he's out on delivery. <laughs> and who is most directly responsible for creating the demand for an alcohol delivery service at this time of year in the first place? <laughs> I see. So, what do you make of Master Diluc's mixing ability? Why don't we ask the formidable Sister Rosaria? What do you think? <sighs> He's not bad. Formidable? <gasps> Did you guys have a fight? I'd call it... a misunderstanding. I caught sight of a suspicious figure hurtling by the Knights of Favonius headquarters. Fortunately, I discovered in good time that it was Miss Rosaria, and stayed my hand. Aha! So the suspicious figure that day was Rosaria all along! Folks in Mondstadt are on edge with you constantly on the prowl. You're no ordinary sister, that's for sure. Allow me to return the compliment, good Master Diluc. You're hardly a run-of-the-mill businessman yourself. <laughs> My. Such a formidable wit, too. But really, is there any here among us today who can't be said to possess a talent or two? Even the celebrated honorary knight has graced us with their presence tonight. Truly, a good day for a drink. Well said. So, Kaya, uh, about that tuition fee? Please collect the goods from Diluc. Three bottles, as promised. They didn't come cheap. The better the wine, the higher the price. Just economics. How are you enjoying the Windbloom Festival, Traveler? That's good to hear. A toast, everyone. To a happy Windbloom Festival and the free people of Mondstadt. Cheers. Cheers! Cheers. <laughs> what a festival! Now, this won't drink itself. Oh, Tone Deaf Bard, spare a thought for other people. Paimon's looking for good food, not just good drink. I need to learn to handle my better. Taverns are so much more fun than cathedrals. Speaking of which, doesn't everyone get time off for festivals like this? Why doesn't the church give us time off? Dandelion wine. I was going to say, isn't it about time the tavern menu had a few starters and mains? What's a drink without something on the side? <laughs> Easier said than done. I doubt Charles is nimble enough to handle both. <laughs>